one live, live. <laughs> i'm right here too oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on everybody welcome to the live chat how is everybody doing i know we have a bunch of people in the chat already so um as always guys let us know if you can see us okay and hear us clearly um we're streaming from it's the same camera but it's from a new computer so hopefully this computer is good. Let us know in the chat hopefully. if the picture looks good. Looks good. Um, good does it look? And we'll start saying hi to everybody. Hello, one stop. Hello, Ollie Horn. <laughs> hey. Holly goes, that scared, that scared him when you jumped oh, on the screen. <laughs> sorry. Um, seen and heard, all right, cool. Hello, Dale, hello, Greg, hello, Silver, hello, Czar, hello, Mauricio. Hello, Brandon. Hello, Down South. Hello, Looking Melissa. Crispy. Sweet. Sean, Jasmine. It might even look a bit better. Curtis. Because this is a Bobby, new computer. Michelle. Porter, Sweet. Jacinda. If at any time, guys, this Matthew. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if at any time, guys, the stream like goes blurry um, or like looks weird, just refresh it. Um, a lot of the times that'll fix the fix the problem. So Ben's Ben's watching it over there. He says it looks good. So sweet. All right. So we'll get started here. In yeah, a second, we'll one started. minute in, we have 186 people watching right now. I so haven't read now. any of the clip notes. Please, Was I supposed to? Please, that's why I sent them to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, my phone was on the charger. <laughs> Can no I cheat? Play like Let a me champ. cheat. Oh, 248 people watching. It didn't update. That's oh, awesome, nice. guys. Thank you for being here. We appreciate. it. I know we haven't been live in like a couple weeks, so we appreciate you guys coming back. Yeah, sorry, we just got. Uh, oh, I just got the notification on my phone. Oh, okay. Airport was the first reason why and our flight was late. And then the second reason why was because we were tired because we got home. From yeah, the airport. <laughs> we uh, before um, before this video, we actually had like a like a company meeting and we talked about like YouTube and doing some more stuff on YouTube. So expect these videos to come back. Um, we are going to start going live every every Monday at 8 p.m. We're going to start going live again. Yeah. So because you guys seem to like it. and We can answer mm -hmm. a lot of questions. So There's with that being said, for now. Nice. Wow. Thanks for being here, guys. Wow. So the title of this video is uh, eBay sales are super slow. How do I fix them? Um, 10 tricks. Uh, so I wrote down, I was just sitting there and I was like, um, a question that we get all the time, Allie wants to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, during the summer months is, you know, my eBay sales are slow. What can I do to improve my sales? So that's what we want to talk. <laughs> <laughs> you talk like me now. You talk with your hands. <laughs> that's, what, that's what we want to talk about today. Um, <laughs> These tricks and tips may not be for everybody, but there might be a couple in here that you'll be able to use in your business that might help you out. So that's why we're doing that. Wow. And then as we go, guys, in the chat, feel free to talk amongst yourselves. Um, and then if you have any questions, put them in the chat and we'll do our best to get to your questions as well. Yeah, and if um, you do ask a, an easier question, look for other people's answers as well, because I noticed a lot of people in the chat, they're pretty experienced and they answer the questions exactly how we would, if yeah. not better, because in the live chat, yeah. like, or the live feed, we can't go too into depth. So people will yeah. answer your questions incredibly well. And like, there's amazing sellers in the chat right now, like Wade's Venture. Wade what? is a huge eBay seller. He's oh, really yeah. good. He's got a great YouTube channel. Um, so shout out Wade. He can help you guys out as well. Yeah. So. Everybody ask Wade all of the questions <laughs> that are hard and ask us only the fun questions. Yeah, exactly. Wade <laughs> loves to answer all the hard questions. So I'm gonna jump, <laughs> I'm gonna jump right into these tips and tricks that we have. Um, the first one is look at what you're listing, look at what you have listed and what you're currently listing on eBay, um, and list better inventory. I know it well, sounds like the simplest of things, we're going to start with the simplest of things. But when you think about it, sometimes we get so caught up in like, I only list t-shirts or I only like to list men's polos because that's what I used to make money with. But if you're not open-minded to listing other things, then you're going to lose out. And a huge thing during summer is clothing sales do slow down. That is an actual thing. Um, you know, the question, we get the question like, is, is the summer slowdown a real thing? And the answer is yes, in clothing. Like if you only continue to list the exact same way that you've been listing throughout the year and you don't make some changes, you will have slower sales. You absolutely will. So it's good to make sure to look at your current inventory, look at what you're currently listing and then go, okay, should I be listing this stuff or should I look for better stuff? Um, I can tell you that during the summer, electronics for us sell a lot better than clothing um, and shoes. Our shoe sales also pick up a lot better during the summer as well. So 
True. Huh. And shout out to What the Hales, another the Hales. really good YouTube channel there, guys. They do some great um, storage unit flips as well. Thanks for being in the chat, guys. We appreciate that. And they go, Hales low, everyone. Let's get rally rates to 100,000 before be the end crazy. of that. That would be insane. We get a button. Yeah, we get their play button pretty a soon. Button, what a are we at? Button. I don't yeah. know where we're at right now. We have, I don't watch it. We have I know we have 462 people watching the chat right now. So guys, definitely if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe for us um, and hit the thumbs up button on this video. It helps push our channel up and get us more subscribers. Thanks, Dale. Dale said it look hot. Ooh. Ooh Dale. Trying, to, <laughs> trying to slip into the YouTube DMs there, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> 92,390 subscribers. Very cool. We're close. We're close. So That's we'll count crazy. after the video. I never thought our YouTube channel would grow so big. I actually no thought that. No, no, I just, because there's so many YouTubers out there, I thought we would have like our little niche and then that would be it. We and we would just like stay a nice, steady, yeah. slow growth for a very long time. I, you know what's funny though is as we've grown, I still think that like our our little YouTube reselling family has, has it's grown obviously, but it's still nice and mm -hmm. tight niche and everybody's helping each other out, which is cool. Everyone's really amazing, especially our students. They always are helping each other out. And it's yeah. really amazing to see other people helping each other. True. And then like all the other YouTubers, they're helping the other YouTubers. And then everybody is like the trickling down of everybody helping everybody. Yeah. And then like joining groups and then helping each other. And it's, it's a good a really community. Good community. It's amazing. We're not competing against each other. We're really, making reselling better so that more people buy yeah. resold goods. Resellers are buyers too. You got to remember that. Yeah. Uh, Mark Frazier, thank you for the $5 super chat. Appreciate that. Um, Mark says, hey, Roots Familia. Familia. My eBay sales have dropped as well, but on a more important <laughs> note, where is my drink? <laughs> That's, ah. That one's up to you, buddy, but we'll drink to that. <laughs> Vicky's in the chat. <laughs> Vicky? Oh, hey, Vicky. Vicky. What up, girl? Awesome. I love Vicky. Vicky and Katie, they're the best. They are the best. You're going to meet them um, one day, Kelly. I'm super sad okay. that we're not going to eBay Open this year. Because oh, we won't get to see them. We did want to so. go because there's a lot. I mean, everybody's going. There's a lot of really cool people that are going. Um, and it is kind of like a big party. So <laughs> yeah. next year we'll go. We went the year before. Um, this year we just had some other stuff come up. It's my buddy's bachelor party. So I'm going to be in Colorado. Uh, so next year we'll come. I thought about going without Ryan, but... Yeah, I might. You can still go. <laughs> I mean, that could be dangerous. <laughs> Chris, Chris the Goose, thank you for sending us $10. Really appreciate that. Tips for tips. Tips for tips. tips. Just subbed. Uh, great meeting you two in Austin. Wish I could have spent more time with y'all. You need to end up doing with, oh, what did you end up doing with the Roots pants? Do you remember the Roots pants at the thrift oh, store? Oh, they didn't fit me. They didn't fit. No, they didn't go over my hips because they were for kids. Wow. Great to meet you too, Chris. That meetup, by the way, guys, was awesome. Shout out to uh, Bonafide. Shout out to Raken. Shout out to the College Picker. Mm -hmm. And shout out to everybody we got the chance to meet at that meetup. It was awesome. Yeah. Um, I like that they did it over multiple days and there were like fun activities for everybody to do. So if you ever get the chance to go to a meetup like that, I highly, I highly recommend it. And really then you cool. can ask them, you can ask Chris right here what we were like in person. He'll tell you True. we're horrible people, <laughs> nothing like our videos. <laughs> One of the best names, I think, in the reselling community, Tiger Goods. Love hey, that. Oh my God. Thank that's you. Genius. <laughs> Thank you for the $10 super chat. Um, have you guys seen a drop in sales since eBay went to Good Till Canceled? So we've always listed Good Till Canceled. Um, so for us, no, we haven't seen a drop. Um, if you're not used to the way Good Tool Cancer works, sometimes mm -hmm. there can be a little drop there. But there's little tips and tricks. Um, part of them are are on this list. So um, another one, we'll go to, to number two. Mm -hmm. Again, this one seems like a no-brainer, but we forget to do it. Uh, trick number two is list new items daily. We say 10 to 20 items a day. And uh, as a good like practice, let's say your sales have really slumped and you used to be you used to make sales every single day and you're mm -hmm. not making sales. List 10 to 20 desirable items every day for two weeks straight. Do that and see what happens to your sales. Undoubtedly, your sales are going to increase. And it's hard, but try to prioritize that over yeah. other things just for those first couple of weeks to mm -hmm. actually see the effect that it's going to have. The interesting thing that you'll notice about that is because eBay loves activity so much, they love so new much. listings, you'll notice your older items start selling. So you're going to sell some of those new items you're listing to, but you'll see your old ones increase as well in sales, which it's is cool. so weird when yeah, that happens. Those. Yeah. We noticed it all the time happening. Right. We were listing a lot and we were just like, I don't understand. But sometimes it's good literally to, to like take a break from social media, stop listening to every all the negative stuff out there, just like shut it off and list. List every single day 
like I said, 10 to 20 items a, um, a day for two weeks and, and see what speaking happens. Speaking of social media, can I just say, don't compare yourself if you are if you only have like a store with 200 items to somebody who has a store with, you know, 2,000 items or even 1,000. You're not the same person and don't be hard on yourself if you're not performing the way they're performing and putting in as much time and don't get down on yourself and just give up, you know, right. just because you're a smaller seller than them. I mean, you have to get there. They had to get there too. So definitely stay in a positive mindset and don't beat yourself up. Yeah. Just keep trying and tell yourself you're doing the best you can if you are doing the best you can. And you guys, I guess we haven't been live in a while and you guys missed us because there's 609 people Whoa. watching, which is crazy. Set Thank up. you for Bonafide's watching. Bonafide in the chat. Bonafide too. in the chat. Guys, hit the thumbs up button on the video. We'd appreciate that. Um, and then shout out to Czar St. Louis. Thank you for the five Canadian dollars. Appreciate Czar. that. Czar. The question. Are you guys ready for that picture to come out? Oh, yes. So ready. Dude, you know what's funny, Chris? I tried to post that picture on the day that all the pictures went down on Instagram oh. where you couldn't post stuff. I tried posting it twice, and then I was like, all right, it's not meant to be. So <laughs> as soon yet. as you post it, I'll also post it. <laughs> Coordinate. Um, but Zara's question was, what is your opinion on running high percentage sales on eBay? I'm considering trying the strategy, but I'm nervous that it might look dishonest. So I don't think it's dishonest. He's talking about people that um, they'll they'll double their price and run a 50% off sale on their store. I don't think that it's hugely dishonest. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, I think that we get better results when we run legitimate sales. So sometimes we'll do like a 10% or an 11% off sale. Um, we find that using like odd numbers that people aren't used to kind of gets their attention more. So we'll do like a 9% sale or like a 13% sale, something weird. Just um, <laughs> I'm just like, whatever. And like doing a legitimate sale like that to clear out all, all the inventory, that's actually one of the tips as well. Um, but yeah, I think that that's a better way to do it in my opinion. Should we do tip number three? Can I say it? Absolutely. Update your titles and pictures. So true. But now that you said it, you have to talk about it. Oh. Well, you know, just go through your listings and look at the titles, rearrange some words, add better keywords, look at similar listings yep. that have sold and see what they had in their title and put it in your title. Oh, yeah. And then with the pictures, I've been doing collages a lot mm. with um, electronics and shirts. If we're doing multiple shirts, Callie I'll make a collage it. with the pictures. Those collages. Put that as the main photo. Switch it up. I think one thing too, sometimes we get questions from people that say, you know, like I've, I've had this item listed for a year and it still hasn't sold. And my question is, well, one, is it a desirable item at all? But if it is like, okay, let's look at why it hasn't sold. Let's look at your title. Does your title have good keywords? Are you, are you using your entire title? Are there, are you using all caps in your title? Are you using special characters that shouldn't be there? If that's good, then we look at the pictures because a lot of the times, listen, the way that we took pictures and Callie took pictures a year ago has now changed. And like she said, we try out new techniques like these collages. Um, so, you know, sometimes you'll look at your pictures now and then look at your pictures from a year ago and you'll go, I can't believe that I took pictures like that. <laughs> um, so sometimes it's good just to pull the item out of your inventory, retake the pictures, take better quality pictures and then re-upload them. Yeah. yeah. Do that. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me go down a little bit. And by the way, guys, we are like, we're reading through the chat. So don't think that we're ignoring you and only like answering the super chats. Cause we are, we're trying to read everybody's, but 674 people watching, it's, it's a bit hard. Um, so yeah, we are going to try to get to everybody. If we miss it, just keep at, at asking the question. Brett has a question pertaining to titles. And okay. since we were just talking about that, are all caps good, bad, or <laughs> indifferent? Very bad. The worst. Very bad, yeah. Don't Shoot do yourself it. in the foot. Yeah, you do not want to do all <laughs> caps in your listings at all. Yeah. And no Unless symbols. The, and no symbols. Unless the actual, like the actual brand is in all caps, then it's okay. But if it's not, then you want to do lowercase as well. You can capitalize like the first letter of, of um, each word, that's okay, but not all caps. Uh, two Aussie thrifters, thanks for the tips on YouTube for six mm. for 6,000 bulk buy vid. No worries. <laughs> no worries, Mike. Um, yeah, they they had a really really good bulk buy. They found like a bunch of like brand new clothing in Australia too, which is oy, oy, pretty oy. exciting. So somebody wants to know when you're going to announce the winner of the mission. Oh, good Ooh. question. So honestly, I don't know why, but I didn't think that video was going to get as much attention as it did. So <laughs> that video, the last time I checked, and it's been out for two days, I think. 
um, the video where we were giving away a box of resellable stuff. Um, the last time I checked, we had like 3,100 entries. So Whoa. that's a lot. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm, we're going to do the video. We're go we'll do the giveaway uh, probably sometime next week. Yeah. Okay. And it'll obviously go up on YouTube. Can you explain why all caps is bad for uh, search engine optimization? For, right. For search. It, yeah. Google hates it. Google's uh, search algorithms hate it and eBay search algorithms hate it. Um, and the only reason why we can tell you that's from personal experience is because we heard it directly from eBay. So eBay told, it's not like we're telling you that it's bad just on hearsay. A representative from eBay told us, do not use all caps in your title. So if they're telling us not to do it, then it's probably bad. People will Google search and then eBay listings will pop up and they'll click on them. And if you damage the likelihood someone's going to get it by not having your title optimized for the search engine, right? Search yep. engine optimization, then you're just making yourself less competitive against other people right. who aren't putting all caps for a word in their title. And that's a fairly new thing. We actually used to do all caps in our titles. Mm -hmm. uh, it actually, it used to be better to do it that way. I would say in the past like two years, that's changed. Chick Rocker 77, thanks for the dollar. She's super chat, here. appreciate it. Um, and Real Rage, thank you for the 99 cents super chat. Thank you, tips for dips. And Brian Fulton, thank you for the $5, appreciate it. Are there any contests that you know of for winning ticks to eBay open? Oh. Everything is sold out, thanks for the great tips, guys. Um, I don't think there's any contests. I don't think there's any contests right now uh, for eBay open tickets. Maybe we can do one next next year. That might be cool. Maybe we can partner with eBay and do one next year. We'll talk to them we'll about it. To That's a really it. good idea. Yeah. Uh, but no, there's none that I know. I know it sold out pretty fast too. All right. So we did look at what you're listing and list better inventory, list new items daily, update your titles and pictures. Tip number four. Um, this is kind of a new one. And it's send out offers and add best offer to your listings if it's not on your listings. Just adding best offer to your listings doesn't does um, increase your ranking in the search as well. Mm -hmm. So eBay likes having best offer on listings, and then again, obviously, it increases your chances of selling more because people can send you offers. You're not always going to get low ball offers. Sometimes it's something that you have to deal with, and you just counter the offer. Um, we get low ball offers all the time. It's, you know, we've had stuff listed for hundred dollars. We've got an offer for ten dollars just for someone like throwing it out there. Um, and then we'll counter at like 95 and they'll buy it. So you never know, you never know what you know your buyer is doing. So. Or they'll decline it and somebody will buy it for full price, yeah, which true. blows our minds. It happens true. all the time. Yeah. It's because the algorithms push your item up whenever the, it's more desirable, right. or there's interest in it. And then sending out offers, that's a new feature that eBay added recently where you can actually send offers to watchers on your listings. Make sure you're doing cool. that. It's just another way to, uh, you know, we haven't really tracked it super, super well, so we don't know how well it's working, but I can tell you that we have gotten sales from doing it. So why not use the tool and continue to do it? Sweet. What are we up to? Is that four? Let's do tip number five, and then we'll go back in and start answering some questions from the chat. I don't want to miss any questions. And again, guys, shout out to everybody watching. We have 732 people watching. That's a that's lot. A, whoa. That's a There's lot. a lot of trolls, too. Oh, well, thank you thank for you, getting Brianna and Ben. <laughs> yeah, shout out to all our admins right now. Ben, Brianna, Ollie. Jeez. <laughs> Callie. <laughs> I'm trying. Appreciate that. Just delete them from the channel. Don't yeah. time Yeah, them. delete them. Uh, yeah. As we, okay. as we grow, guys, obviously as we grow and as we go live more, there's going to be more trolls. So we're, we're yeah. doing our best to That's get rid okay. of them. I mean, I don't like a lot of people and I would think that way less people would like us than do. So, you know. <laughs> I think it's just people messing in the, ch in the chat too. So it's not a big deal. But guys, make sure to hit the thumbs up button on the video as well. All right, so what, are, what did I say number five? Number five is try free shipping. You um, won't. You won't. Don't I, be scared, guys. <laughs> yeah, I know that um, you know, there's, different, there's different theories about free shipping versus not doing free shipping. Both me methods work for us. We like to do free shipping. Um, I can tell you that, again, doing free shipping does give you a boost in search. So uh, at least try it out. I would say take, you know, take maybe your first class sale items, your items that are first class shipping, sorry. And try free shipping on those items first because it doesn't cost you much money. Um, we'll roll the cost of shipping into the price of the item. True. So if your item's listed for $30 with $4.99 shipping, list it for $34.97, for example. Right, right. Try that. Try that. Just give, try it, a, it, give it a shot. Give it a try it out. Track it. And if you don't like it, you can always go back. That's it. Try it out. Try it out. Try it out. Try it out. <laughs> uh, 
All right. Hammy whammy. Hammy whammy. Thanks for the $2. Can Ryan do a video in tips for personal finance? Uh. So as we, we did one video recently with, um, with Nikki, Nikki Dunn with, best um, friend. yeah, Callie's best friend, one of our really, really good friends. Um, her channel is she talks finance. She's a financial advisor. She's probably the better person to give financial advice. So we did a video with her. We're probably going to have her back on the channel. Um, maybe a couple more times as well. We can also go a bit more in those videos. We'll go a bit more into our personal finances, uh, but we try not to give like too much financial advice just because we have to talk about what we know really well, which is reselling. Um, our finances are good, but we don't want to steer you in the wrong direction. So anyway, uh, D kids channel. Thank you for the two Canadian dollars. Canadian dollars. Tips first year for Canadian that sell on eBay tips first year for Canadians that sell on USA eBay. Um, there's, man, what's the name of the shipping service? Oh, I don't remember. Shippo? It might be ship. No, Shippo is the- I know Loretta e does it. Yeah, so I'll have to find the exact name of it, but there's a shipping service for Canadians that you ship through them and they charge you like a courier fee. So you, mm -hmm. you, you get to use the USA shipping model so you can ship through like USPS and you pay the lower rates and then you pay the courier service like a dollar or two per item to bring it over the border or something like that. So, so cool. it's a cool service and that's yeah. what a lot of our Canadian eBay sellers use so that they can offer like cheaper shipping on items to the U S so I look feel like we mentioned that in one of the last live streams. I think we did too, but I don't remember yeah. what the name of it was. We mentioned it. I feel like pretty often we there get that question. Told us, yeah. Um, shout out Lauren Cole city Luke for being in hey, the chat. Boo -boo, what's up? Appreciate it. Um, Ooh, someone asked if Ben is single. Brianna, go ahead and block them. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, and Lauren, thank you for the dollar. Appreciate it. Uh, Real rates. Thank you for sending five dollars. How do you guys deduct the garage sale items on your taxes since it's cash? Do I just write it down on paper item price date, maybe address? Very good question. Um, if you want to track that, one of the best ways to do it is go to like Staples um, and get. Is Staples still a thing? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, they still, they're not out like, of business yet. I was like, which one's which out of business? blows my mind. Go to I like Staples office. or just like Prime, oh, Prime, buy it on Amazon. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you can get a receipt book. So you get a receipt book with a carbon copy um, and you can just like write your buys in there. Um, and it counts for you. You just give that to your, really, you don't even have to give it to your uh, CPA, but it's for, it's a good way to keep track of your buys from garage sales. Treasure okay. Hustler says there's a way we can make chats not have links. Oh, true. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. We're still learning yeah, stuff yeah. every day, guys. Remember, this is um, we've how, we've been we're on YouTube. Experts. We've been on YouTube for like two and a half years now, I think. So we're still learning. We've been, definitely been selling on eBay longer than we've been on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we weren't like, let's start YouTube and then you know make all of our money from YouTube and quit our day jobs. We were yeah. like, let's start YouTube, and then. You did. <laughs> That's, I guess so, yeah, man. You did. Um, <laughs> and so it was. And so it was. Jerry just sells stuff. Thank you for the five bucks. Live video Mondays back in the house. Yeah, we're back. Yeah. We're back. Um, we're definitely going to be live again next Monday because we're going. We're going to do um, a couple a couple giveaways. So what y'all want? Our new tote bags just came in today. They're super fresh. They'll be like They're a. So cool. They'll be like a sneak peek of that design. Um, in probably in the next video. And then they're going to go live um, probably like early next week or at the end of this week. Really, really cool. Um, Allison's brother designed the bag, the graphic for us. It was our idea, and then he brought it to life. Um, and then Allie did all the ordering the bags and yeah. dealing with the customer or the um, the supplier and all that stuff. So I did I did literally all. nothing. <laughs> My brother, he's not only good at woodworking but at Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, Paul DeLeo, good to see you, buddy. We'll have to meet what up a, sometime. Actually, soon. Kimmy helped too. Thanks for the 99 cents. She designed the Pomeranian. Oh, yeah. Shout out Kimmy. Kimmy. Yeah, Lauren says totes are amazing quality. I love mine. So it's the exact same bag. It's the same big, big bag. It's just yep. a, a different design. Yeah. So if you like the bad, the la if you like the last bags, you're definitely gonna like these ones too. We really hope you do. And if you don't, pretend you do. <laughs> All right, here we go. Should we keep going with the tips? We still have 768 people watching. Are we I think on we're on number six. six. Yeah. So tip number six, guys. Again, the um, the title of this video is eBay sales are super slow. 
If you missed the <laughs> if you missed the first five tips um, after this video goes live, you can go back and rewatch it and pick up those tips. Um, but tip number six is use promoted listings. So again, I think that it's um, I think it's kind of ignorant to not use the tools that eBay gives us. If they give us the tools, I think that there's a reason why they're giving them to us, and we should use them to increase sales. Pretty much everything on there, promotion wise, that eBay gives us we've tested and they do increase sales. Some things more than others. I can tell you that using promoted listings, I think increases sales on eBay more than anything else, um, except for listing every day. Listing daily, like daily activity is the best thing to do. Other than that, doing promoted listings, I think is awesome. Um, so, and then the other question is, okay, if I'm doing promoted listings, uh, what percentage do I set it at? Do I go with what eBay says? Do I go with my own percentage? What we've found, and we've done research where we've tried it at 1% on everything, we've tried it at 10% on everything, um, and we've tried a mixture of in between. What we found for us is between five to 8%, depending on the category and depending on the amount of competition, that's what works best for us. So try it out, try promoted listings out. Obviously make sure you're watching your margins you don't want to give away, if you're only making 8% on an item, don't promote it at 10% because you're going to lose money, right? So make sure that you're watching how much money you're giving away. Cool. Brianna, you're the real MVP. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally just deleted someone else's comment. I'm sorry, OTB. 790 people watching. Um, Is it because it went so fast? Yeah. So like, look, the record trader says, I do 1% on everything. I think that... Um, whoop, 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 ah, ah. I think that again, I think you should, if you haven't experimented with doing something else besides doing 1%, I think you should try out, try something else out. Because again, we've run the test on doing only 1% and for us doing a bit more, but higher percentage works better for us. So try something else out. Uh, future fortunes, thank you for the $4 super chat. Um, silver hair Chats bearded fox, so. thank you for the $2 super chat. Appreciate that. Uh, and we're past 800 guys. We have 807 people watching, which what? is crazy. Thank oh you. Oh my god! Appreciate that. One day we'll get to a thousand and only 266 thumbs up. So please guys hit the thumbs up button for us. We'd appreciate so it. many button, people that button, are button, watching button, us button. live. Don't say anything bad. Inappropriate. <laughs> it's so hard in the beginning. It was so hard to keep my potty mouth. I know. I right? know. I know. We'll I, to, um, maybe, maybe one day we'll do an adult. I show. definitely <laughs> have some adult language that I use on a regular basis. And it was Usually very difficult at first. to me. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm really good at catching myself. You are. Yeah, but that adult language was hard. That was a hurdle. <laughs> if anything um, was a hurdle, that was. <laughs> Logan Skill says, Rally Ritz, I usually get all my listings done, but leave them in drafts and those five a day. Is that a good start? Absolutely, that's the same way that we do it. So we'll, go ahead. But don't leave them in your drafts for too long because it deletes. They'll disappear your, eventually. Yeah. yeah. Piece of lemon in so my we try to, we'll draft a whole bunch of stuff and then go through it and list it as we go so that we have items in drafts that we could list daily. Before the show started, I just published 10, um, 10 on our uh, hip line eBay account that Callie and Ben, Callie took the pictures. No, sorry. Ben took the pictures. Callie did the drafts. I published them. So huge team effort there. Yeet, yeet. And Allie looked pretty. I did the laundry, guys. <laughs> That's much. way worse. I asked sure. Ryan, I was like, do you want me to do all of the publishing and you can do the laundry? And he was like, no. Mm -hmm. I will literally do anything so I don't have to do the laundry. Not a fan. <laughs> so we made a trade. I think it's a fair trade. I mean. <laughs> for that. Yeah, the most part. But yeah. Heroes TV Japan, thank you for the monies. Yeah, the monies. What comes in your mind for Japanese products? Anime, Ooh. cosmetics, treats, game, ma Ooh, matcha. Just want to know what is what people are looking for. When it Japanese comes to products. cosmetics, I think Korean, not Japanese, which okay. is interesting because all that Korean skincare is really popular here in yeah. America right now. I definitely think anime. 100% anime. I and I love Pikachu. Straight the Pikachu. treats, right? Like little Pocky and Hello Pandas. I'm pretty sure that's Japan. I pers Yeah. Yes, right. the treats. I personally also think fashion. Um, I think Japan like kind of leads the fashion industry a lot of the a lot of the way, especially the streetwear side of things. And I drink matcha every day, and it's super popular everywhere now. And Ben said technology as well, which is very true, Ben. 
Who makes the one plus? Ollie Horn. <laughs> it's not Japan. Is it I China? Think, I don't know. Who makes the one plus? I don't know, babe. Where's the factory? <laughs> oh, we watched a video on the factory and it was super cool. Cool. Um, the weird wild world of flipping fun with Charlie. Hey, oh, that was a lot to say. That's such a crazy long name. <laughs> Thank you oh, for the two dollars. Oh. Says your tips. <laughs> your tips uh, work already made thirty five hundred dollars in two months. Congrats! That's Yay! really cool. I love when people actually take yes. suggestions from somebody who has tried them and said that they work for them. They try them out and it works for them. That's yeah. really awesome. Casey Beta, thank you for the five dollars. Uh, when you reach top rated seller, do your listings rank higher? Ah, uh, yeah, they do. Yeah, you definitely get a boost in search for being a top rated seller. That's why it's super important to, to make sure that once you get that top rated seller, try to keep it. Um, we there's been a couple of times like throughout our eBay careers where we've lost top rated seller status, and just by losing that status, our sales have decreased. Nothing changed except for losing that status. So now we're like. We make sure that we keep that status. And if there's something where we get a ding where it's not our fault, we make sure to call eBay and discuss it with them and get the ding taken off so that it doesn't affect our, our top rated sellers. Speaking of dings that are not your fault, if somebody purchases an item from you and then they send you a message and they ask if you can wait to ship the item for them because they're going out of town, always say yes and wait and then ship it as requested. And if you get a ding for shipping, you call eBay, save the message 100% of the time, Always save your messages and eBay will remove that ding for you. And then True. your self or your buyer will be extremely happy. True that. Yep. Um, That's just a random thing. People ask us that all the time. That's a really common question. So now you know. All right. Tip number seven. Tip number six was, was use promoted oh. listings. Tip number seven is run a sale on your store. So uh, we were talking about this in our mentoring group the other day. I think that since, um, since eBay started doing promoted listings, a lot of people have focused on just promoted listings and have kind of, oh, my shoulder popped. I heard me. They've kind of like shied away from doing sales, from running sales on their stores. Um, and I think we should kind of get back to that. We started, we did it ourselves. We we're guilty of it. We like stopped doing sales entirely on our store and just did promoted listings. But I think that running a sale is good. Um, it's a way that, it's the way that people buy. You know, if they see something and they go, okay, it's 10% off, they'll say, okay, well, that sounds like a deal. Let me, let me buy it. <laughs> Um, so run a sale, run a sale. It's, it's pretty easy. It's under promotion, under promotions. There's a, a section called uh, markdown. It's, it's called like run a, run a sale with markdown. I think is, is how it goes. It's the one where it crosses out the main yeah. price, shows the percentage off and then shows the new price. And if you have watchers, don't they get an alert if you, if it goes on sale, sale yeah. to what percentage do we know that number anymore? I don't know. They might change it, but. Probably. If you have a bunch of watchers on an item, try running a sale on it. And yeah. I think, I feel like it's 5% or more. I'm not sure. About Something. That yeah. But somebody, if that's what you want to do and you have a bunch of watchers, just figure out what that number is. You could probably Google search it and try it out. Yeah. See if one of those watchers bites. And you have to have a store to run a sale. You have to have a store. store. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, that another was, benefit of having a store. That was number seven. Um, tip number eight is, is super simple. Um, it's contact eBay customer service. So a lot of the times your issue can be solved by just reaching out to eBay customer service. Listen, it used to be where when we called eBay, they didn't help us at all. Just a few years ago, their customer service was not good. And I can tell you that eBay has made leaps and bounds to, uh, to improve their customer service with the seller. So now when we call eBay, we pretty much get our issue solved most of the time. And they're very, they're much more willing to think to, I think, to work with the seller. So they, they actually do care about their sellers, especially more than a company like Amazon. eBay actually does care about their sellers. So, um, but a lot of the time, you know, there's been cases where um, we've had people, people are like, well, I'm getting no sales on eBay. My store was doing really well. Now it's dead. I'm doing all the same stuff. Like something's happening. Um, and in a few cases, very rare, but in a few cases, when they've called eBay, eBay has actually found a glitch in their store that's um, caused their listings not to show up in search. So, which obviously would get you no sales, right? If your listings aren't showing on eBay. So sometimes you need to call eBay and have them look at your store and ask like, is there actually something going on that can be fixed on their end? Yeah. 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 And then Lauren Cole City Loot says, go to eBay open and get free concierge. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> concierge is like, what? It is very, very good. Very nice. Good.
Man, just when I was uh, gonna say the trolls have calmed down. <laughs> There's a lot of Ben's over there, like there's a lot of spam working. accounts right now in the live, which is weird that there's spam accounts. It could like just straight be straight spam accounts. No, I can switch that off soon. Yeah, we'll switch that know. off somehow. All right, we have two more tips in the video. It's only 8:35, so maybe let's sit back and answer some of you guys' questions. You won't. I will. LV Pink Panther. What up, girl? Nikki. What you doing in that? Is it worth <laughs> is it worth buying the open ticket just to get the concierge? Yes. Yeah, kind of. I, I mean, you have to be there though I don't to know. I don't think get you the do. concierge. Seriously, I don't people think have asked us that, there. and my answer is yes. What you just buy, buy a the, ticket? <laughs> buy the get ticket it? to get concierge. I don't see the other thing is I don't know if they're gonna do that every year. Oh you know what I mean? Touche. Yeah. I don't know either. Uh, Rick Mo, thank you for the four dollar ninety nine cent super chat. You guys are being really generous with the tips tonight. Thank you, appreciate tips it. Tips for tips. Watching with my nine year old daughter, she loves your videos and Allie's hair. Woo. Great tips as always. Yay! Oh, babe, you were doing so well. She hasn't said. Anything. I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. I know. You said it. Eight minutes. <laughs> I didn't say anything. You punched Whoa. me in the rib. <laughs> I'm about to catch an elbow over oh. here if you do that again, girl. Sorry. <laughs> oh. All right, guys, we are, um, we're, we're gonna look at the chat, sorry. It's going really fast. Um, we gotta get through the, all these tips, though. We could say everyone hold the questions we have and then it, well, do I, the last two. Yeah, no, we, we can keep answering questions. Okay, yeah, because it's only 8.36 and there's only two tips left. So. Tips. Okay. <laughs> chips. Someone's hungry. Chips. Uh, Ryan, off topic, but is your tattoo of an Aboriginal man on your right arm? No, it's a Zulu warrior. Zulu. Zulu. So I was born in South Africa, and this is like my Africa arm. So these are Zulu warriors. Nah. Shout Kenya. out, shout out, Lion King. <laughs> so excited. Coming soon to a theater next <laughs> near you. No, someone asked earlier. I don't remember what your name was. I'm sorry, but they asked if you could print FedEx labels using the Rolo printer, and the answer is yes. Yep. I think it's something in the the printer settings you just have to change. Yep. Yeah, we just googled that. That's doable, right? That roller yeah, printer is awesome. Trying to figure it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Google is your friend. Guys. As far as I know, I uh, Rolo still hasn't taken our code away. By the way, so nice. Oh, you know what? I totally missed Harry Tornado's super chat. Oh, is snap. it up there still? Some. Snap, oh, there diggity. it is. Didn't Harry Tornado, it. thank you for the ten dollars. Appreciate it. Um, great advice from great people. Keep it up. Silver play button around the corner. Aw, so sweet. Can't wait. Go support Harry Tornado, guys. He's a really good guy. He has a really good channel. He gives out some good advice. Um, more than likely, in the near future, we're going to go on his channel as well. So definitely. Just in all the comments that you guys leave, put unicorns rock. That's <laughs> true. <Yes. laughs> um, <laughs> when, when's the next mentoring class? Uh, September 15th mm -hmm. is the next one. And you can get on the wait list. Uh, Callie will post the link to that if you'd like to get on the wait list. We usually do signups for like a day. So just know, for guys, September fifteenth, be ready. <laughs> this is a good question. Let's talk about this. Logan Skill says, "Rally Roots. If capital isn't a problem, what do you suggest doing?" So, oh. the first thing I suggest doing is if you're even if capital is not a problem, but you're an inexperienced seller, I still think that you should cut your teeth doing the simple basic tasks. Go to garage sales, go to thrift stores, go to auctions, learn the products, watch YouTube videos, go on eBay, do your research, look at therapy, do a lot of research um, before you start doing stuff with that capital, like buying in bulk. Once you know what sells and how it works, like how long something takes to sell, um, how what, what sort of effort it takes to list something on eBay, because it's one thing to say, okay, I'm going to list this glass on eBay. It may take me 10 minutes to take the pictures, uh, list the item, pack it up and ship it off once it sells, right? So it's not just like if I get a thousand different glasses, that's a lot of work, especially if you're a one person show, you need a team to, to process that amount of stuff. So I would say if you have a lot of capital and that's not an issue um, and you're and you are experienced, then I would say the next step would be to look for um, look for bulk items that you can get in quantity. So of the same item. So if I can go and buy a thousand MacBook Pros and I can make 10 to 20% on them because it's such a fast selling hot product, um, that's something that we would do. 
because it's the same product. It's one listing. Every time it sells, I make 20%. That's, that's mm -hmm. a great item. Um, something like, uh, that isn't as fast selling like a MacBook. Let's say like, uh, I don't know, a t-shirt, a t-shirt that I can sell for $20 that I can buy for $2. It may take a month for that t-shirt to sell. So maybe I shouldn't buy a thousand of them. Maybe I should only buy 50 of them. You see what I mean? So you just have to like know where to put your capital. And I think you should, you should learn, you should learn that before you start buying in bulk. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Cool. Colorado picker says, is it taboo to look up items at garage sales? We do it. I do it. <laughs> we do it. I mean, we we be kind of, we, yeah, we're kind of sneaky about it. Like we, we're not in their face. Like I've seen other, other resellers do that by the way, at garage sales, like blatantly they'll be there and they'll look it up on eBay. I don't really like that. Um, everyone's different. Yeah. Everyone's different. I don't think that it's taboo though. I will say if someone calls you out for it, if they're like, Hey, are you looking that up on, you know, are you, are you trying to find out how much that's worth or whatever? Mm -hmm. Usually the best answer is just to be honest with them. Just to be like, yeah, I sell stuff. I resell stuff online. Um, by the way, I, the type of stuff that I look for is like, you know, video games, electronics, old clothing, whatever. Um, let them know what you buy. Cause a lot of the times they'll be like, Oh, Oh, I have a bunch of that stuff. I just didn't bring it out here. So if you want to buy that. And everybody knows somebody. Like everybody yeah. knows somebody who either has a business that ha does deals with like estates or like clean outs of houses or right. just something. And they're like, oh, I know someone who's trying to get rid of a bunch of stuff or they know a collector. It's very <laughs> interesting whenever you talk to people. Right. They're really nice and friendly, you know, just always be nice and friendly. Because remember, they're people, you're a people. People should always just be nice. People. You're a people, they're people, everyone should oh be nice. Oh my gosh, that's Humans. awesome. Or just people. Wayne Golden says, how they long before it. my shipping fees are taken out of PayPal? Is that uh, a setting? It depends how you're shipping. If you're doing mm -hmm. like USPS shipping, it comes out, it should come out immediately. If you're shipping with FedEx, that goes into your eBay, um, it like is held in your eBay account and then that char that's charged monthly with your eBay fees. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Mochi will come on soon. <laughs> Another tip as well, guys, is with your eBay fees. Um, if you're if you're good with credit cards, pay your eBay fees on your credit card for the points instead of letting it just like run through your PayPal account. And you can on eBay, you can go in and make a like a one time payment before it hits your account each month if you want to. Uh, Jameson's closet. How's a new warehouse coming along? Ooh, so our plans were given to the county, and the county said a couple of stipulations in regards to the purpose of the building. So they're just going to change a few things and then resubmit it to the county. So everything is designed. We have like the parking spaces, the asphalt, the building, everything like that. So that's yep. very exciting. And then once we go from there and have our design that's approved, right, by the county, then we can get quotes from contracting companies for how much it will be to do yeah. it. Yeah. So we're still waiting on approval from our county. The it county. Takes, takes forever. Months months literally takes months so yeah uh, <laughs> hillsborough county is the worst Deneen, i hope someone's watching from hillsborough <laughs> county because they'll know Deneen thrifted uh two tesla mugs for a dollar canadian that's awesome what tesla mugs dn dn did i say that wrong Deneen. Deneen. dn dn i think dn 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 more I, I, yeah DNA. ZD. <laughs> we got Bearded Picker in the chat too. We got a chance to meet uh, Bearded Picker while we were in Texas. Really, I feel like really I met nice all guy. these people from watching College That's Picker crazy. and Bottom yeah. videos. Then you know how people feel when they meet all of us. Yeah. Ah, one, wow. of the, one of the reasons. Right, I know you mean. One of the reasons why we didn't vlog at the meetup is because Eric, College Picker, vlogged, um, Bonafide vlogged, and Raken vlogged. So if you guys want to see any footage from the meetups, go to their channels. Go to go to Chris Bonafide Hustler's channel. Go to the College Picker's channel. Go to Rake and Profit's channel. Yeah. And then just say, unicorns rock. That'd be so funny if everybody spams that on everyone else's channel. Would it? Ryan's not impressed. I'm not. He's mad. Oh, he doesn't like it. Worst. Look at that mad face. Look how Allie, mad he is. wife troll is mad coming back face. again. Look how mad. All right, guys. So let's go back into... Um, the, the the trick. So we went through eight. Uh, let's talk about number nine. Drew Conway. Yes, Drew. I hate it when fake yeah, sales slow down. Nice. That's awesome. Bring it back. So tip number nine is to hire help. Yeah, exactly. I'm the help. Exactly. Y'all seen that movie? 
The Help. The That's Help. A good amazing movie. movie. Sorry. Amazing. Back to the scheduling <laughs> program. <laughs> um, so going back to what I was saying about like if we get a thousand of different items, it's hard for one person to to go through that and get them all listed on eBay. Um, hiring help is one of the best things we possibly did. Having Ben here helping uh, take pictures of stuff and having Callie here helping with pretty mm -hmm. much everything. Um, it's, it's a huge thing because it frees us up to be able to go out and source stuff. So we can source better quality stuff, bring it in. Um, as long as what we're sourcing covers the expense, obviously of having, having help, it makes sense to do that. So, you know, right when you start reselling, it would, I wouldn't advise you like go and hire help immediately. But once you're at the point where you're like, okay, I'm spending too much time listing when I can be sourcing and I can cover the fees that I would pay someone to take pictures or list, that's when you can start hiring help. Um, but a way to increase sales on eBay is to hire help. It just, it is what it is. We and, missed a super chat. Oh, we did. Uh, Cha-ching. Cha-ching. Please say happy anniversary, Jen. Happy oh. Anna. One, two, three. Happy anniversary, anniversary Jen. Jen. Love always, Jer. 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 Did I get it right? Jer. 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 Probably Jer. 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 Jer.
sometimes you can get cubic rate shipping with the USPS stuff and ship sure. it extra yeah. cheap. Just sure, make sure. sure whenever you do the listing, you don't put like priority mail and then choose FedEx Smart Post right. to ship it. Also cross check on like pirate ship. Yep. Very true. If it's cheaper on there. And Especially then really, really small, heavy things. Yeah. On pirate ship. Really? And then exclude crazy locations from shipping. Exactly. Oh, that's a really good tip, actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we yeah. kind of, when we have something really big, we'll take off uh, Hawaii and Alaska and like Puerto Rico and APO boxes because it, it costs more money to ship to them. And you can't do, um, FedEx won't deliver to PO boxes either. PO boxes. Yeah. That's right. We found that out and we were like, what? Uh, <laughs> like, uh, I can't the first time to you. Yeah. When that does happen though, when, when that's happened, I'll just send the buyer a message and I'll say, Hey, do you have a, f a physical address we can ship this to? And most of the time they'll give us one. So. That's good. Uh, Logan skills has ring light or box light. Uh, we do for most of our stuff, we do three box lights. And then if we need a lot of extra light, then we'll do a ring light in the center, but we can usually get the job done with three box lights. Paul, thanks again for the 99 cents, man. Appreciate that. Uh, here is TV Japan. Thank you for the 500 yen. 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 Is it bad image to on eBay to keep listings that's not selling? Is it better to take it down even if it has watchers? Uh, I would, if it has watchers on it, I would just edit the listing. So change the title around, maybe change some of the pictures, um, drop the price a little bit or increase the price a little bit. Uh, we've, we've had good success, like putting the price up a couple bucks as well. So. And then a super <laughs> chat from Sean Oyer. Sean, I love you, man. I forgot to tell you, within like two minutes of me posting the video from this morning with Ollie. Oh, like yeah? Newbie versus, uh, versus pro thrifting. Sean texted me and he was like, how come I didn't get to go thrifting? Oh, Sean, would you want like, to? I was so sorry, dude. Um, yeah, man, let's go. We're going to go. Sean will smoke me, though. Let's be honest. Roll I mean, up. he could also just step on you. Wow. Sean's short tall. joke. Yeah. <laughs> Sally says, when's the right time to get a store? Um, I would say if you're listing more than, possible. yeah, if you're listing more than 50 items a month, oh, I would wait, say a get a store. I thought you meant just like opening an eBay account. That's where my mind immediately went to. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ben, bring Mochi. You guys have to call someone. Ben. Come on, Bulldog. Oh, it was dark in there. Ben has to make an important business call. Come on, Bull. But you can, oh, she's so happy. You can have mochi, though. Come here, Mom. She doesn't know what to do. There's holes in my Little pants and she camera holes. Come here. Like, she's confused holes. by them. Oh, there's a boat out. There's a mochi. My <laughs> mochi. Oh, she's full. What is she in there? Is like a bunch? Say hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bulldog. There's a bulldog. Oh, okay. She in the All right. Any questions for stuck. Mochi? Leave them in the, the chat. Is stuck. There we Any go. questions okay. for Mochi? What, Brianna? Look here. Um, She's guys, thank you all for being here and sticking with us, by the way. We have 850 people watching still. Um, make sure you hit the thumbs up button before you leave as well. We're going to keep streaming until 9 p.m. So if you have any questions, put them in the chat and we'll. Uh, We'll help you out. I'll say it. Happy, Happy anniversary, anniversary Isaac, Isaac and, and Gemma. Gemma and Isaac Gemma. and Gemma and Isaac. Oh, what's my favorite Gemma. flavor? Man. Oh, Ben oh, and Jerry's? Oh, gosh. I love their strawberry cheesecake. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. But if I had to pick a favorite, oh, man. Should I couldn't pick a favorite. It back. depends on my mood. 100% depends on my mood. Sometimes I want something prettier and sometimes I want something very heavy and like chocolate, but it has to be a vanilla base <laughs> or you can have chocolate ice cream sauce. Oh, you're so <laughs> cute, Mochi. D Kids Channel, thank you for the $2. How do you set your shipping when you list? Uh, we kind of know how it's going to go before we list. So it's, it's fairly easy for us. Anything and if you're new, weigh your items so that yeah. you know, is it under yeah. a pound? Is it over a pound? Right. Under a pound, obviously first class shipping. Um, over that, we'll do, if it fits in a padded flat rate, we'll do that. Um, if not, we'll do FedEx shipping or we'll just do standard shipping. We don't know, so we can choose it later. And but we've we been shipping shoes and shoe boxes lately, which you can get free USPS. from USPS.com. And it comes roughly to, what did you say, Kelly? Eight ninety nine. Like which is crazy. So the prices of shoes went down, but first class items went up, right? I still, a little bit. when yeah. I'm drafting them, I still put FedEx Smart Post though. Just in case. Yeah, because sometimes it's just a couple ounces over. 
and then it doesn't work in the priority box. Oh, yeah. true. And our 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 if feedback, it's like three our feedback's really good because if they're expecting it to come FedEx and we ship it priority, it gets to them oh. faster. So we get we get good feedback. Yeah. All the ball. Emery, thanks for the two dollars. Yeah. Thanks for the positivity and great advice. You're most welcome. We always try to keep things nice and positive. It's just better. You know, whenever you focus on the positive things, because the next day we only focus on the positive things, you forget about all the negative things. Because who has a good memory? <laughs> uh, Kyle, thanks for the five dollars. You both are my favorite resellers of all time. P.S. That espresso machine is expensive. It is expensive. Yeah. I know. Uh, what do I do if I sold Pokemon cards that I can't find? Oh no! Oh no! Um, you're gonna have to refund the buyer, I guess, if you can't find it. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's a tough one. I don't know. That's a tough one. I mean, you're just going to have to refund them. Yeah. Sorry. That stinks. Christopher Chatworth sent us some, oops, some space over here. Sent us $27. Christopher Chatworth, thank you for the $27.77. Appreciate that. That's a nice big super chat. <laughs> Tiger Giving. Sorry, Mochi took over the YouTube. I know. Yeah, she's, yeah. she's so cute. We ben, love her. Say hi to everybody, Ben. All that sound that she makes. Oh, What's wrong, Kelly? Kelly's still in here. Coming there she up. is. Uh, why don't you use Pirate Chip and Polybag to save a whole dimension? I find being on the East Coast, it saves me a ton. Pirate Chip's a good way to go. We find, honestly, even Polybagging, we find that um, shipping through eBay for us is some, is a lot is cheaper a lot of the time. So Yeah, especially we do, lately. We do look. Um, but pirate shipping is really only good for smaller, heavier items. Very important question. <laughs> Era. Yeah. At, At what, what point yeah. should I get a bulldog? <laughs> how did Allie know that was the most important question? <laughs> Such a good question. Immediately. Yeah. No, he's but Immediately. you have to consider that they're a little high maintenance. No, they're the best. <laughs> But they're worth it. Like Mochi gets it back every single week because their skin is sensitive. For most dogs, if you wash them every single week, they would it would make their skin worse. But her, you know, she likes she needs that weekly bath. She got a thick tongue. She, she does. does. She has a long, Thank slow, you. Those sensual trolls know. lick. I know. Those trolls know that I'm not there. They're like, all right, guys, <laughs> go, go, go. Yeah. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, link, we got link, link, link. Low, low and Bree Bree Yeah, here. we got a lot of people. Thank you. Let's make beauty for the dollar super chats. She's just licking it. Brianna's um, studying. Ooh. Where did it go? Brianna's study. She's getting her bachelor's in radiography. Okay, and she just finished her AA. Nice. Congrats oh. on college. Congrats. Oh, like, I remember those days. I hated them. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Um, LV Pig Panther. That's a girl. Where did that go? It's a girl crown vapor. Get out of here. <laughs> Vicky says, I use poly bag for shoes, pirate chip, up to size 13. Men's $8.92 coast to coast. There you go. It was a good way, right there. And um, Biggie they're going knows from her stuff. Yeah. She ships all the things, like hard goods, delicate items, such as glassware and mugs. And she sells amazing, like vintage items that are just absolute. Oh, there you go, phenomenal. So, Vicky, I would listen to what she has to say always. Yeah. Do you recommend calculated shipping for new eBay people? Nope. I would still say weigh your items, know what your shipping is, and put in the actual shipping. Mr. WW Ship It says, as a reseller, should I buy a Bulldog or a Tesla first? Ooh, <laughs> Bulldog. As a calculated business decision. Well, first of all, you have to get a full sleeve. You have to get a full, <laughs> full tattoo sleeve. I would recommend a Bulldog first. Yes. Before the Tesla. The Tesla is way less maintenance. <laughs> Way less me. Ollie needs your help. Ben. Burkini, burkini. Ben, we need you back. Oh, uh, you guys are doing great. You guys can last two more minutes. You got this. Uh, we'll Just change that now. in the settings. We'll fix the link. Who's the new guy? This is Mochi, and she's a girl. She's a girl. Yeah. She's a and girl. She looks like a boy. Wait, who is that? <laughs> uh, hey, guys. This is my little brother, Ben. True. It's Ben. Yeah, Ben's the youngest. This is my mom and dad. <laughs> Justin Packman <laughs> says, buy a Cali first. Was, that buy would be very first. weird. Buy a Cali first. Buy first. Merch idea, use mochi on your next tote or hat. Stay tuned, Alice. No spoilers, but stay tuned for our next tote drop. Uh, okay. One yeah. stop. Thanks for the $2. Ship item at one. Will they still ship out the same day? I wonder how long totes are going to last. Listen more. Didn't they sell out okay. like, oh, at like 1 in two days? The last time we listed our totes? Yeah. 
Okay, guys. So just we will announce the day that we're going to drop the totes so that you know. Isn't um, I can always order more, but they'll be different. Isn't Amazon Prime Day coming up this week? Is it uh, probably. probably. Ooh, is it the 15th? I think it's 15 through 16. Yeah. Ooh, I'm going to put a bunch of stuff then? in my cart. And hopefully it drops. <laughs> eBay's eBay's doing an Amazon crash day. You One see that? PM, no. he said. eBay, so. eBay started advertising like um because the Amazon site has gone down past a couple of prime days. So they're like, when they crashes, come here and get better deals. Oh, wow. I was Ooh. like, all right, eBay, stop trying to compete with Amazon. Like Dang. that's that's why you suck right now. <laughs> Does he eBay corrected even? himself. He said 1 p.m. So if he drops it off at 1 p.m., will it ship out the same day? Uh, it depends on your if post they office. Scan it in. Depend, yeah, it depends on your post office. But for us, yes. Yeah, they should. Yeah. Make sure they scan it though. True. Don't just put it in the Dropbox. Like, bring it up to them and have them scan it, and ask for a receipt if you have an issue with them not scanning it. True. Um, and I think it's nine. That's about it. Uh, let me Whoa. say. Bonjour, Bon Deal says you guys rock. I took the mentoring program in March, thirty-six thousand dollars in six months. Monsieur, Congrats! Bon Deal. Can old students still access the VIP group? Yes, you can. Shoot me an email. Um, you know the email address. Shoot us an email, and we'll get you in there. All right, guys. Peace. Thanks Bye. for watching. And chicken grease. Thumbs up the button before you leave. Bye. <laughs>